How's it going today there, YouTube? Well, I just got back from Charlie Church's in Innisfil, Ontario today, which I'm going to have to call that my uh, new local KCIH dealer, because, of course, Charlie Richards was the, my original local dealer, but, of course, he's retired now. Anyway, I was up to Church's this morning and picked up some more red paint for that W4 so we don't have all that yellow primer on it anymore. So I'm going to get that cleaned up, and we'll go out there after lunch there and take a look at what I got going on now. But when I was up there, I finally picked up a combine for my clutch I've been uh, kind of anticipating to get and I uh, walked into the dealership and had it right there on the shelf so anyway here I'll show you guys that real quick I finally picked up the Authentics number 10 Case International 7150 Heritage Combine so it's got the old International Harvester paint scheme on it and the, the decals are in the same kind of font like uh, they used to be back in the uh, late 70s early 80s so this is a very nicely detailed piece it's got the steerable rear end on it got the duals reusable feeder house on it the uh the unloading auger comes out very nicely detailed cab interior of course it's authentic so it's got all the details so it's a very nice little piece and uh quite honestly it was only like 40 bucks the dealer so i seen them online there on uh in the u.s they're actually like 45 50 bucks and that's american plus you have to convert that to canadian that's the same comment i was telling you guys about uh there back when i was home on my covid leave I wanted to order from Outback Toys. It was going to cost me almost 60 bucks US to get it shipped up here. So I figured, well, I'll wait till the dealers open up and I'll go into Charlie's and see if you can get one for me. Anyway, this is the box that comes in here. I'm going to keep the headers right inside there because I don't have any room in my cabinet anymore to keep combines with headers on them. So, uh, yeah, we'll get that in spot. I wanted to make a quick little snip there for the video and show you guys what I picked up this morning because I kind of been leaving the farm toy guys in the dark here lately i haven't really done a whole lot with the farm toys in the last little bit but uh you know never know what's going to happen around here so anyway let's go get some lunch and we'll uh dive into that w4 been working away in this hood in here and i primed the side of it and i got a couple little spots i wanted to redo so it's coming along already got this floor pan primered up so i think i'm going to start with that giant deer primary works pretty great come over here. I apologize for the background noise. So I kind of got a late start here today. I was working over here with this draw bar yesterday. I snapped a whole bunch of tools on that, so I got to get that up here. And I got the, everything back away here after a wash day there the other day. I got those headlight mounts painted up and whatnot they're ready to be sprayed so i'm gonna do this gas tank the grill i'll do that floor pan i might push the 145 out of here because i want to do some bolts and do another few few other little things here so anyway uh i'm gonna quit yapping and start painting so we'll see you guys in a bit well what do you guys think now yeah yeah not bad both sides got two coats done I may come in here with a little bit of that, uh, where'd it go now, the flex fold primer. Couple spots I might uh, touch up in there. Got one little run right there, he's gotta fix up. Right there, you guys will see. That's there, that's no big deal, let it dry up and uh, you can sand that out anytime. That won't take very much to do, and it'll clean right up nice. The girl did nice though. Gotta try to crawl over here and not touch that. Maybe a big fingerprint in that nice new paint. Ah, there you go. That's looking pretty friggin' sweet. That turned out really nice. The grill, I think, is the nicest part I got so far. I'm still working on the hood, of course, but that's gonna take some time to get cleaned up and whatnot. It always seems whenever I wanna go paint something, my batteries are all flat in my drills, so. Oh, well, whatever. Tank on this side looks all right. So we'll get her spruced up and little things here and there. That's all you got to do. Maybe I'll go and I'll uh, paint those bolts up so I can get that other platform piece back up there. We'll do that. And uh, I already got that painted. That's what we're using, if you guys didn't already know. I'll paint those bolts up and we'll uh, maybe do the hood hood pins and uh well, i got the headlight bezels too i can do actually so oh well we'll just dink around a little bit and we'll see how we end up here in a while i'll check in you guys with you 
a little bit here. It's probably twice as hot in the front yard as it is in the backyard because they're all shaded up in the backyard there. But uh, I'm thinking you might as well use that trailer for something. Not like you're gonna haul any tractors this year. So this year is supposed to be the Corth Lake Antique Power show today and tomorrow. But uh, with COVID, that's not gonna happen. So uh, I'm thinking I might as well use the trailer for something. See if we can get the parts to drive a little faster, see if we can't get stuff back together. I was thinking about just bringing the whole tractor across here, but I uh, will see. We'll see what happens. I don't know if I feel like doing that right now. <laughs> Ready to go sit down somewhere. Anyway, I just got done mowing up here, so I'm gonna let the parts dry out. I can get it on camera. I'll let those parts dry up a little bit, and maybe this evening or tonight I'll uh, put them together. And I might have another video for you guys tomorrow and whatnot. So uh, I just kind of thinking there. 2020 is the first year in almost 30 years I haven't been able to go to a steam show. I think I mentioned earlier that Corth Anti Power Show is supposed to be on today and tomorrow, but uh, with COVID, I guess you can't do that. So, anyway, till the next one. Thanks for watching and uh, comment, rate, subscribe if you're interested, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take her easy.